Hello, and welcome to a special Festive Acquisitions edition of the Knit and Grace podcast. And welcome or welcome back to the podcast if you are a returning viewer. If you are new here, my name is Mia and I am the maker behind Knit and Grace. And today I want to bring you a special uh, festive acquisitions episode of the podcast. So um, likely the acquisitions portion of the official podcast episode that'll go up in a week's time will be light. Um, but I wanted to share some yarn that I got um, as part of my yarn swap, a festive box that I purchased from Woolen Twine, as well as my 2022 advent calendar from uh, Sweet Sparrow. So um, I hope that you are well. Um, if you celebrate Christmas, um, I hope you have you're having a Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas, um, as I'm releasing this on Christmas Day. Um, if you don't celebrate, I just hope you're having a great day in general. Um, and yeah, so hopefully if you're around that means that you are interested in seeing acquisitions um if you are someone who is not interested in acquisitions then i will see you in next week's episode which will be uh the regular podcast episode um but i'm gonna go ahead and jump right in because i do have quite a few things to show you and then i will insert chapters um below as i usually do for these longer episodes um and i'll sort of break them up between my yarn swap uh my festive box and then the advent and that way you can skip around if there is a particular um portion that you want to either not watch because you got some of these things or um if there's something that you do want to watch more than others so i'm going to go ahead and start with my yarn swap um and so then that way if you're not interested in seeing um the festive box and you want to be surprised or the advent and you want to be surprised um you can skip those sections so first, um, I think I've mentioned a couple of times here on the episode, but or on the channel, I should say, but I've become really great friends with Melanie of uh, Woolen Berries over on Instagram. Uh, she does not have a YouTube channel, unfortunately, um, but we've just become really great friends. We have very similar aesthetic. Uh, we really enjoy all of the same yarns and things. And so uh, earlier in the fall, we decided uh, to do a yarn swap. And so uh, just to give you a little bit of background on Melanie, she is German and um, living in Norway um, with her partner and her children. And yeah, and I'm here in the States uh, living in northern New Jersey with my partner and our cats. And so, um, yeah, the way that we went about it was we sort of set a budget that we thought would be reasonable um, to... Um, sort of put together a sweater's quantity worth of yarn plus a few extra goodies um, and so we set a yarn budget and then uh, we did send each other extra sweets and goodies and things like that um, that weren't part of the initial yarn budget. 
Um, so yeah, so I guess I'll just share the yarn budget with you all, uh, just to be transparent, but we set a budget of 250 US dollars for the yarn. Um, and then, you know, whatever we wanted to include was just extra. Um, so, uh, yeah, I will jump right in. I have a few things that she sent me that I'm so excited for, and I did receive instructions on, on these items, um, or these yarns, I should say. Um, and then I will show you all of the sweets that she sent to me. Um, we both have sweet tooths, um, and, uh, really excited when my husband, um, helped me open up the box. He was very excited and he's can't wait to break into some of these sweets but uh, I will go ahead and start with the yarn that she sent me and uh, the first one so there's three different skeins that I want to share with you first and everything is just here off camera to the side of me and so she sent me these um with kind of the instructions, <laughs> not instructions, but suggestions that these are all single skeins. Um, and so these would be lovely to use in color work. And so that's why there are single skeins. Um, and so the first two are from a company called Verbit. Um, and so they are based in Oslo. And let's see, so this is a natural dyer that's based in Oslo. Um, and so she's actually, or the dyer, um, they are actually dyeing um, on a base of Rama Phenol. Um, and so they, uh, she sent me two different colorways as well as an actual skein of Rama Phenol as well. And so this is a fingering weight yarn, 100% Norwegian wool. Um, and so the first, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this first name. I think it's, yeah, I'm not even going to try. And then the second one, which you'll see uh, very obviously, is called Fool's Gold. And then the Rama Phenol is just, um, let's see uh i guess the color is one so it's just their basic like undyed um natural colorway so these are what those three look like and so you can see the fool's gold is a solid and then this one is oop, is a really beautiful variegated skein So yeah, so technically three skeins of Rama Phenol, but these two have been naturally dyed um, by the owner of Verbit. Very exciting. Um, I have no clue where I'm going to put all this yarn. I guess I'll just put it right here. The next yarn, which is so special and so delicious, um, she sent me... Uh, six skeins of this one so I'll only show you two um, and so the name of the company is Oslo so just Oslo yarn um, and the color is called Skazgbar I think <laughs> um, I'm probably uh, butchering this but this one is let's see 50 grams, 200 meters, um, and it looks like it's a, hmm, it's recommending a 4.5 millimeter needle, um, so yeah, this is that yarn, so I have, uh, 1200 meters of this beautiful beautiful um wine color and um so she sent me enough of this one to make a shawl so i'm really excited i mean it's just so luscious um and i think it's let's see it's 70 percent 
lamb's wool. And then I think the staple is going over what the other one is. So I'll have to look up what these are made of. Um, and then I'll try to put the information down below. But um, these are so beautiful. Um, so excited to uh, knit myself a shawl. I think 2023 is going to be the year of shawls, although the end of 2022 has kind of become the, the start of that uh, process. And then um, the last yarn that she sent to me. So I have, let's see, two, four, six. So also six skeins of this one. And this is the this is from Hillsvog, and then um, I know I'm not gonna pronounce this correctly, but it is called Soldier, I think Solji, Sol Soldier, um, Solia maybe, um, and it's 100% uh, Norwegian wool, so it says 100% Norsk wool, so uh, Norwegian wool or. I guess yep and then this is 100 grams is doo -doo -doo -doo. trying to see the yardage or meterage on this one. Oh, 100 grams is two, uh, 350 meters and so this is what that looks like and so it is a, getting a little blown out um on camera it is a bit richer a uh, deeper brown um but oh yeah so it's a, looking a little better back here in terms of the color and um so this is enough for a sweaters quantity and specifically because uh, melody and uh melanie and i are both patrons of melody hoffman um of b mandarines this is the yarn that melody used for her linden cardigan which is the patreon exclusive um pattern that she's recently released so um yeah, I'm very excited. Not only do I get the yarn, but I also get a pattern recommendation for the yarn. And I'm really excited because it is um, a project that I've had my eye on. So now I will be able to knit it up um, hopefully next year. So that was the yarn that she sent me. She did send me a little like lotion, but I haven't opened it yet because I want to make sure that I snap a picture of everything. Um, and it's just like so beautifully wrapped. So I didn't want to open it. And she made this little mitten ornament herself. Um, so that one will be going on the Christmas tree as well. Um, so that's uh, a little lotion that she sent me that's great for knitting. Um, and so I'll show you some of the goodies that she sent, uh, mostly sweets, or I think all sweets, um, that she sent over. So there's going to be a little bit of crinkling. I'm sorry, <laughs> but this is just the packaging. So this first one uh they're called small beater um and so i think let's see yeah this is just milk chocolate so that's what that looks like then these are gul waffle and they're just vanilla wafers uh, which i haven't had a vanilla wafer in so long so i'm really excited to try these um, let's see. These are, um, little, uh, gummy men and women. And so I already read the, um, so they're called Laban, I guess is the name of the, the candy, which is funny because I actually sent her, uh, gummy bears as well. Um, and so these, uh, it's, it's called, or like when you read the description, it says soft jelly women and jelly men rolled in sugar. So there we go. So we have some gummies. Um, and they're shaped like men and women. Oh, and oh, here, I didn't even, uh, realize the flavors are in the back. Um, so there's pineapple, which I guess actually the word is the same as in Spanish. It's anana. 
Um, there is orange, there's apple, there's lemon or citrus, I guess. And then uh, I guess this would be raspberry, uh, bringebor, maybe. Raspberry, it looks like a raspberry, but it could also, I guess, be a strawberry. With that little red guy right there. So that's exciting. Um, then we have more of these small beater, and these are, I guess, from Yep, is how you would pronounce it. And so these are milk chocolate filled with cocoa meringue and caramel. There we go. And then I'm trying not to crinkle, crinkle too much. This is a mixture of different candies, and this is, I guess, Venner candy. And I see, like, that Yap one is in here. Um, and so, yeah, this is just an assortment of milk chocolate candies. And the funny thing is, is my husband noticed that a lot of these are made um, by Mondelez, which... Um, here in New Jersey happens to be like the U.S. Um, sort of headquarters of Mondelez. So it's really funny that, you know, because obviously Mondelez is an international company, right? Um, so these are called Nonstop. <laughs> and these are milk chocolate in a crispy sugar shell. And so what, that's what those look like. They kind of remind me of like little Easter candies here. Um, but they're, I guess like the kind of, ver they're also like, I guess they're kind of like M&M's also, right? And then the last one, these are so funny. They're called corny. <laughs> and so these are chocolate covered uh, salted roasted corn. So that's what that looks like. And I'm just like, I think like these are the ones that I'm probably most excited to taste. Just we'll see what they taste like. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of like imagining like if you all like um, remember like kicks growing up. I'm kind of imagining that these will be like kind of like kicks covered in chocolate. Um, so we'll see how these are. Um, so yeah, so that's all of the yarn and goodies that Melanie sent me in her uh, yarn package. I had so much fun putting um, her box together. Um, I filmed a video for her that I post, uh, posted privately. Um, I may or may not share it. Uh, we'll see how she feels about that, but I may or may not share it for you all to see. Um, in terms of everything that I put in her box. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to move along to the next uh, festive box, which is my woolen twine festive box. Okay, so I've gathered everything and it's now sitting next to me. Um, I'm having to do this in shifts because it's a bit um, of stuff here. Um, but this is uh, this is the contents of the 2022 Wool and Twine Festive Box. Um, and so I believe, if I recall correctly, Eula um, released this as part of the October collection. Um, and when I saw that, you know, her sneak peeks that she was putting out and then, you know, that she was going to release a festive box, I really wanted to jump on it um, because um, I really love sort of everything that Eula and her company stands for. Um, and I knew that everything that she was going to be putting together was just going to be absolutely amazing. And it definitely did not disappoint. Um, so she put together a festive box of her own yarn and as well as a few other makers, um, uh, sort of products and so I'm going to share what was in the box and then I'll also put a link to um, her video where she outlined the information on you know the festive box and the contents and sort of the the thought behind it 
Um, so the box itself, everything was packed very, um, you know, naturally. If I were, I don't remember exactly what the price point on it, but I thought it was a very reasonable price point. It may have been like, um, like 90 something, a hundred dollars US, um, which I thought was very reasonable. And so, um, in the box, she included her regular, uh, postcard and, um, she did handwrite a little note, um, on the postcard this time around. Um, and then she also included this little, um, holiday drawing that I assume she drew herself. Um, and it just says, you know, happy holidays to you and your loved ones, um, and sort of warm thoughts from Eula. So I will show you first, um, I guess the pottery. Um, and so she included in the box, um, a hand thrown mug from Studio Malls. Um, and so this is the postcard from the, um, the potter and so this is their information here on the back um, and so this is I guess actually I think pretty sure Eula actually takes classes at this pottery studio and so her pottery teacher created these beautiful custom mugs so it's just a beautiful mug and it's, you know, it's nice and textured on the outside and it's fully glazed on the inside and it does have the stamp of the artist below. And so this is just a beautiful, beautiful ceramic handmade mug and you all know how much I like a good mug. And probably more than anything that convinced me to get the festive box was the mug, if we're completely honest. Um, of course I love Eula's yarn um, and all of that, but I was just like, I want the mug. Um, but to that point, she also um, she also uh, paired up with a um, tea producer in, um, I guess they're German, um, in I think it's Grassler um, Tea and Ceramic. Um, and so this is what the tea bag looks like. So that's their logo and it's a little tea bag. Um, and let's see, cause it's in German. So it's in German on the back. Um, but I did take a, a picture and translated it. So this is 20 grams of tea. And the tea is made up of dandelion leaves, rose petals, currant leaves, and raspberry leaves. And um, it says to brew a heaping tablespoon or heaping teaspoon per cup um, for seven to t 10 minutes. So uh, very excited to try out this tea. I've been waiting to try out the tea because I want the tea in the mug in all the things. So. Um, definitely really excited for that. And then, of course, um, she included beautiful stitch markers. She um, paired up with uh, Dusana Knit. And so these are the beautiful stitch markers that were included, um, which is so funny because when Eula was putting out the... Um, information on the festive box. I think Dusana was having a shop update at that time as well. And I was kind of like, ooh, should I like buy something? And then I was like, well, if I buy this festive box, I get something as well. So it was like all in one. So this is probably the second reason that I got this uh, festive box were for these beautiful stitch markers. And then last, but certainly not least, is the yarn. And so um, Eula did package the yarn in this beautiful linen bag that was hand embroidered by her sister with a little star. Um, and so this was, I think, you know, not only for the special touch of the linen bag, but in case you wanted to keep the yarn a surprise. Um, and so I'll go ahead and show you the yarn. And this is a specially dyed yarn, a specially dyed colorway for the festive box. 
and it was rolling around in the box so it has some packing material on it but she included this sock and mini skein and so the sock skein is 100 grams the mini is 20 grams and the name of the color is mince pie and so this is just dyed up on her uh, Coriadale sock base which I absolutely love um, so I'm really excited I'm thinking that I might ball these up and take them with me on our trip. Um, and these can be like the socks that I take with me on our trip. So I need to see how many um, knitting projects I'm gonna take with me and space that I have in my bags. Um, but I'm thinking that that might be a very lovely um, Christmas cast on. So we will see. Um, so yeah, so that was the Wool and Twine festive box. And I will go ahead and open my Sweet Sparrow out of it next. Okay, so I have lined up all of the minis next to me, and so I will show you them one by one. Um, but first I wanted to sort of show you how they come. So the Sweet Spatter Sparrow um, box is just like a, a box. Um, and so all of your minis come actually on a garland like this. So I've taken them all out. And so this is what you will have seen in the intro to um, sort of my festive episodes. And then each of the envelopes is stamped with a different um, sort of hand-drawn nature-themed um, stamp and then with the number of the day that is that particular day. So beautiful bags or envelopes and I'm actually planning on putting all of my minis back in their envelopes so that I know I can keep track of them easily. And then also um, as I plan on knitting my, um, or crocheting actually my advent projects, I will know the order um, of everything. So I'm gonna put this to the side. And um, yeah, so before I get into the minis, um, sort of the way that Julie puts it together is you get the 24 minis and then you get a full 100 gram skein on Christmas Day. And so for this particular advent calendar, um, she did have a screen printed notion bag with, uh, this is a her own personal hand-drawn design. So I have this beautiful sprig um, with a pine cone um, hanging off. And then she had a just beautiful notebook that's made of recycled materials and a pen, uh, which will be great. Um, again, this is her own hand-drawn design. Um, and so it'll be great for taking notes. And then each of the days um, also had a little something with the mini. So it might have been something like a stitch marker or um, a packet of tea or, um, you know, sort of like little sweets and things like that. So when you get your box, you also get a color card. So this is the color card for the advent. And so it just says the 2022 Advent Colors. And so she's dyed these up on three different bases. And so each day it tells you the name and then the base um, of the color that she has um, dyed. And so the three bases, they're all fingering weight bases. And so the first is the Magpie base, which is a 75-25% uh, superwash merino nylon with Stellina. And then Swift is the next base, which is an 80-20 superwash merino and nylon. And then the last base is called House Wren. And this one is an 85-15 superwash merino nylon tweed. Um, and so yeah, so I'll get into each of the minis and we'll see how quickly I can get go through these. Um, I kind of have them a little far away. I probably should have thought a little better of this. Let's see. 
if I can keep them in order. So these are the first six uh, here. So I'll go ahead and show you. So the first color is called uh, First One Awake. And it's this beautiful mint color on the tweed base. The next one is called Cedar, which is this beautiful brown on the magpie base. The next one is called Deer Creature, and this one has this beautiful snowflake uh, stitch marker on it. Let's see if you can see that. So it's just this beautiful pink color. And this one is on the magpie base as well. Then we have Tree Beard, which is on the house run base. So this is the tweed. There we go. Then we have Silent Night. And so this is on the Swift base, which is just the regular sock base. And then this one is called wassail and this is on the swift base as well okay and so these are the next five colors and so the next one is called reindeer and this is on the house run base this is a tweed the next one is called Wish You Well, and this is on the Magpie base, and it has this beautiful uh, stitch marker along with it. Uh, the next one is called Hearthside, and so this is on the House Run base, so again a tweed. Kind of blends in with my hand there. Then we have Snow Angel, which is on the Swift base. And this one just has, some of them will just have like little gold um, light bulb stitch markers. And then this one is called Antique Brass on the House Run base. And it has this beautiful honeycomb stitch marker. So these are the next five. There we go. And so here we have Aubergine on House Run. Then we have Winter Twilight on Swift. Then we have Quiet, also on Swift. This is a beautiful color. Oh, there we go. Then we have Earthenware, also on Swift. Then we have Polar which is also on Swift. So these are the next five. And so, let's see. This one is called uh, Comfort and Joy. And this one's on the Magpie. So you can see it has some Stellina. Then we have Willow, which is on House Wren, so it's a tweed. Then we have Fallen Leaves, which is also on House Wren. Uh, 
Then we have Pirouette on Magpie, which I think is the perfect name for this color. It's a very soft pink with the gold Stellina. Definitely makes me think of ballet. And then this one is called Heirloom Stocking on House Run. Okay. Then we have the last three minis, and then I'll show you the 100 gram skein. And so these are the last three. So the first one we have is Wood Smoke, and it has this beautiful acorn stitch marker. Then we have Violetta on Swift. And then we have All is Calm on Magpie with this beautiful pin. Okay, and my camera battery died just at the right time. So I was able to switch it out before showing you the 100 gram skein, which this one I'm really excited about. Um, I think this may have been actually a base that she had before, but I don't remember um, because it is a non super wash. Um, and so this is the base is called Bunting. And so this is the 100 gram skein. So it's 459 yards. Um, and the colorway is called Warm Woolen Mittens. It's so lovely. So I'm so excited to knit up a pair of socks with this one. And so, um, yeah, so I will put in some footage of all of the minis sort of um, next to each other and everything that um, came in it. But I'm really excited. This was my first advent box or calendar, I guess, of yarn. And I was very excited with my choice. Um, and so I am planning on making a crochet blanket um, inspired by Samantha Koning um, over on Instagram. Um, it's called the Woodland Ripple uh, Blanket and it's a free crochet pattern. And so I'm planning on uh, crocheting up that blanket. So uh, Julie has a multi-year commitment for me um, so that I can, uh, you know, buy these beautiful advents and make a special blanket at the end of it um, of a couple of years with just, you know, having the memories that go along with it. So, so yeah, so that was the Sweet Sparrow Yarns advent calendar. Um, and since I don't know, um, I've had, I sort of shot each section individually. I don't know how long this video has been going for. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed uh, sort of a little sneak peek at the yarn that came into my life during this festive season. Um, we are heading out, or when you're watching this video, we will be in Brussels. Um, so I'm hoping to uh, have a really nice vlog for you all while we're there. Um, and I just hope that you're having a wonderful holiday season so far and you're just having a wonderful time with your family, however it is that you celebrate the holidays, whichever holidays you celebrate. Um, so with that, I will leave you all and I will see you next week with uh, my full podcast episode. See you in the next one. Bye.